How's it going everyone? Great one freak here. And sorry I've been gone for the past couple of days. There's like an apocalypse windstorm and I lost power for like three days there. But fortunately I had a little bit of battery in my laptop. So in my complete boredom I made a couple of cool designs. Uh, first of all, uh, I, it was a, I made a pearl, pull shortener. Oops, I can't talk. No idea. Um, the original, the normal most common use pull shortener is this and getting some strange lag maybe need to mess with some optifine and as you can see it'll leave the piston will leave the thing behind but the first thing the bad thing about this is it's not compact at all and if you want to make another one wide a one wide one more compact than this uh, you'd probably do something along these lines let me redstone up here, black torch, redstone button, torch, and uh, right there, and you get something like that. But that's that's still not that compact and not that cool. So, and worst thing about all of these, it's is it's not tileable. So what I came up with when I was gone is you can have a let me get some sand out you can I made a tileable single pulse generator right here and the concept behind this is a sticky piston will pull up sand for one tick before it falls and as you can see right there so let me just put a piston up here to demonstrate this right here see perfect very small very compact and best best thing about it is it's completely tileable you can tile this as many times as you want it will not interfere because it does not use redstone dust and let me just show you add another piston right here and what this means is I've also inadvertently made an incredibly small tileable T flip flop and this probably makes a lot of people incredibly happy because uh, tileable T flip flops are not that not that easy to come by Let me just power these on actually I'm a little nitpicky so I'll power them from the side here to make it prettier <laughs> so you get the output either up top here and or you could bring it off to the side uh, I don't prefer that but that'll work also pretty cool design if you ask me and uh, let me go over and show you guys what else I've been working on also while the power is out I was doing a little bit of work on uh, like an arena and in order to build the arena, I had to make a a reward system. And but I, the thing is, I wanted to give them a choice of what they wanted. And I but I only wanted to give them one thing. And this this super compact system I have here actually does that. So say I want a sword, hit the button, and wait a little bit, sword comes out. But if I click the helmet too nothing happens. I can click all these buttons again and nothing will happen. And I've put the little the reset button right here just to just to be cool. Now I hit the breastplate. Breastplate uh, as you can hear it worked. Grab that. But nothing else will work. And I've managed to do this in a very uh, compact space here. And I'll show you the concept behind that. Let me get my iron my trusty iron blocks first. Um how it works is I was messing around with a little uh, bud, bud glitch. Uh, so right here we have a button here and on top of this we have a repeater torch and a button and we'll need a block also. So you hit this and this block becomes powered by this repeater so the piston won't retract and that will that will power that and 
you hit this to reset it. And unfortunately, when I was when my power came back on and I I got to look everything up on YouTube again, I found somebody, actually a couple people have beat me to the punch with this design, and I'm not too mad about it. Uh, it's I don't that's how Minecraft works, you know. But the cool thing I've done with this is let me reset the system. Is I've done it so as soon as you hit one of these, a uh, it powers this block, and this right under here are the dispensers. And after the dispensers get powered, it will power this line, which will shove down a piston. So if I press boots, it'll dispense out a boot, but all of these other pistons will go down and stay down. So I can press these, but it, the other piston below it won't power. So this is a very useful design for anybody who wants to make like an arena or some sort of reward system in an adventure map or something cool like that. I thought it was done very compactly. And let me show you the the ice system and the dispensers just dispense into a block and fall down down here and go through just like this. Pretty compact, pretty cool. And um, do I want to show you guys this? Um, I'm not sure I really wanted to show you guys this, but because I also found somebody has done it before, like Seth Bling did it like 10 months ago, but uh, my my version is actually like a lot better. Not to brag or anything, but it's it's a lot better. So let me go ahead. Uh, I've already talked about it, so I have to show you guys. So I'm gonna go load this thing up and show you guys. <laughs> All right, I've loaded this thing up, and if you couldn't guess from before, this is a player TNT cannon. I've I've nicknamed this thing Sky Spear because this thing has incredible incredible speed. And where was the door? <laughs> I accidentally broke that out because I hate iron doors. Piss me off. They're annoying as shit. And I can actually use this in survival. Um, I think I will slash game. Not game mood. Game mood. <laughs> and I'm wearing diamond armor because I'm a pussy. But I think you can wear some less armor not sure so set it off and wait for it wait for it bam we are at the top of the world welcome to the top of the world <laughs> as you can see 53 253 and this will actually shoot you a lot taller than that but I wanted to make whoops wait I can just use that thing yep. if you press up it'll does a previous command almost forgot and how it get, stays you at the top of the world, or makes you stay at the top of the world, is it shoots you through the water. You hit one block, uh, two two blocks above that, so you don't get too much falling speed, and you just float, and you can pop right out. I wouldn't suggest falling either, but we'll take a quick dive. Woo, woohoo! All right, there we go. And I've actually uh, made this more survival friendly, like. So you built something about 80 blocks up there, and you're you're really rich. You have a super efficient mob trap. I don't know, like your jail or something, and you wanna you want a sky elevator. See, this is why I broke that iron door. They make me so mad. You just come down here, fill this up with TNT, eight TNT to be exact. Oops, why am I getting such bad frame rates? Make sure you're in the center, and just wait for it. Wait for it. Bam, you're up here in a UFO. And I actually forgot to take out uh, all the water here because I was originally didn't have the piping and it was a lot less accurate. So I had a lot wider, a lot wider area to hit. But I added the pipe and it works amazingly. And let me not show off any of my other inventions I don't want you guys to see. And I think that'll do it for this episode, guys. Uh, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed these circuits. And I think, uh, more specifically, like that uh, that single pulse generator will be incredibly useful to people. I mean, all you need, you don't even need to build it this way. Like, uh, as long as you have a sand drop that's powered, it's, po it's one tick. And I thought that was that'll be incredibly useful to people. So. Hope you guys get some use out of this and liked 
like my stuff. And see you guys next time.